You could be making millions right now using people who don't even exist. I just proved it by creating this entire ad in less than 20 minutes. Lost weight, but you're dealing with saggy belly skin? Listen up. Everything that you just saw is AI, the person, the voice, the script, completely not real, and you probably couldn't even tell the difference. Now here's the crazy part. Google just dropped this new integration that lets you put an image of your product directly into the actor's hands and bring it all to life with AI. Most people don't even know this exists yet, but the window won't last long. Now think about what this actually means for people like you and me. We're talking about going from spending thousands on content creators to trying out completely different video ideas in 20 minutes. So I'm gonna walk you through my exact system, how to find ads that are already working, how to write scripts that convert, and how to use this tech before everyone else catches on. So before I show you exactly how to do this, let me explain why this matters right now. UGC or user generated content is basically when real people create videos showcasing your products. You can think about unboxing videos, product reviews, testing this viral product style of content and this works because it doesn't look like an ad it looks like an authentic recommendation from a real customer the problem is this type of content has become the golden standard for selling online if you're not using ugc you're basically invisible but getting real creators is honestly completely broken right now here is what the traditional process looks like you find a creator, you negotiate race, you send them your product, you wait for them to film it, you hope that they follow the brief, then you pray that the content actually converts. So you're looking at weeks just to get one video, 200 to $500 per creator, and absolutely no guarantee it'll work. And if it doesn't, then you start the whole process over again. Meanwhile, your competitors have figured out this AI approach. They're testing anywhere from 10 to 20 different ad angles while you're still waiting for your first video to come back. But while everyone else is stuck in this slow, expensive cycle you can literally test new angles and variations in minutes and that speed difference that is your competitive advantage now the key to making this work isn't just the AI tools it's understanding what psychology actually converts before you create anything so let me show you exactly how to find these ads that are already working and extract these psychological patterns that make people buy the thing is most people they approach this completely wrong they are trying to be extremely creative and come up with these amazing original ideas but honestly that is not how you make money when you are just starting out. What works is finding ads that are already converting and understanding the psychology behind why they work. So especially when you're starting out, you don't have much experience, you're better off not reinventing the wheel and to take inspiration from what is already working. So let me show you my exact process. Now, most people, they just randomly search around, but there is a much smarter way. So let's just say, for example, that I wanna sell this weight loss firming cream for your belly or for your neck, whatever. First thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to go onto Google and I'm gonna type in whatever that product name may be. So in this case, I just typed in tightening belly cream. Now, what I wanna do is look for people that are ranking at the top, people that seem to be pretty reputable. In this case, one of the first links that I'm seeing are Laser Away, Go Pure Beauty. So let's just go into this example, Go Pure Belly Cream. So what you wanna do now is I wanna scroll to the very bottom and I'm looking for the Facebook icon so that I can get to their Facebook page. Now, if they don't have it, like they don't have it here, then I'm going to go to the ad library. Now I will make sure to leave a link to this ad library page right here, but all you have to do after you click on that, we're just gonna click all ads and then I'm going to type in that brand that I just saw right here, which was Go Pure. And we're looking for their Facebook page right here, 142K followers. All right, so now that we're here and I can see their ad library, all of their active ads, what I'm looking for are ads that have been running for months or weeks on end. All right, so for example, if we look at this ad right here that has been running, that started running on July 31st of 2025, all these ads right here have been running since then. This is a huge signal that it's making money because if it wasn't converting, they would have turned it off by now. So these are gonna be good controls for us. So another thing that I can do is check TikTok. And on TikTok, I'm gonna be searching for similar products or the exact product on TikTok and look for videos that went viral organically that are specifically advertising via the TikTok shop. So this right here is a good example of what I'm talking about. So we can see 650,000 views, 4,000 likes, 166 comments, 1,000 saves, and all these other videos that are similar, that are showcasing this same product. This tells me that the psychology behind this type of content naturally resonates with people because why else would it be getting this kind of engagement unless it's super controversial and 
people feel inclined to comment or like or engage. Now the main thing is that whether it's a Facebook ad that's been running for weeks or months or a TikTok video that went viral, the psychology behind that video works. And that is what we want to steal. Now here's where people completely mess up. They will find that winning ad and then they'll just try and copy it word for word. That is not what you wanna do and that's not what's going to work because you're likely selling a different product to a different audience and also Facebook, TikTok, all these algorithms and platforms, they don't like when you do that anyway. Instead, we want to extract the psychological framework. So the structure of the hooks, the objection handling, and then customize it for our specific product and customer. So let me show you exactly how to turn this research into scripts that actually convert. All right, so we're gonna use this viral TikTok video that I showed earlier as an example. So the first thing that we wanna do is get the actual words that this lady is using inside of her video. So I'll simply just take the link of the video and you can go to any uh, TikTok download or Instagram download or whatever you're using. Uh, SS Tick is the one that I used. So after I downloaded that video, you then want to go to Google Gemini. So once you go to Google Gemini, you just upload that video and you just ask it to transcribe the video. Just like that. All right, so now that I've got the exact script, here is where it gets really interesting. So instead of just copying this exactly, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use it as a foundation to create something way better. All right, so here's the prompt that I'm gonna be using. Now, mind you, you can use ChatGPT, you can use Claude, whatever you like to use. I personally like to use Claude because I think it's just way better with anything involving writing. So the prompt itself says, I'm creating UGC ads for my product targeting my specific ICP. Here's a winning ad script that's been profitable for weeks. This is where you wanna paste in your script. Create three unique script variations that use the same psychological structure but completely different words. Speak directly to my ICP specific problems and desires, ideal customer profile. Include natural speech patterns and authentic delivery. Address objections my specific audience would have. Make each variation feel like a different person discovered this product organically. So we'll take our transcript just like this, copy it, insert it into the transcript right here. And then what I would recommend doing is of course, inserting your product name. In this case, it's belly firming cream and then using AI or Claude, whatever AI service that you're using to come up with all the uh, demographics. So after I've done that, I am simply going to press go. And here are the three variations that I have. The variation one for the fitness mom, variation two for weight loss journey, and variation three with a busy mom realist. All right, so let's see, if you've lost significant weight and you're dealing with loose, saggy skin on your belly, please listen to this. That's really good, but I think that we need to shorten this a bit. All right, so I shorten it down to 30 seconds. Let's read through it again. If you've lost weight, but you're dealing with saggy belly skin, listen up. I'm down 60 pounds, but nobody warns you about loose skin afterwards. Yeah, this is really good. Now I'll leave all these prompts for you guys in the description for you to easily access in like a Notion document or something. So yeah, just find it in the description. But the key difference here is that I'm not asking AI for just one single script. I'm getting multiple angles for the same psychological framework, all tailored to my exact customer. So now instead of just one generic script, I've got three completely different approaches that I can test with AI actors. Now, once you've got these script variations, now is when the real magic happens. So let me show you how to turn these into actual UGC videos and bring it all to life using AI. All right, so this is the tool that I use. It's called ArcAds. It's the best of its kind. I will leave a link for you guys to easily access it below. But what's really crazy is that they just integrated Google's new Nano Banana model along with VO3 which means that you can now have your AI actor actually holding the product in their hands. They're not just talking about it, they're literally presenting it like they're a real creator or like a real creator would. All right, so the first thing that you wanna do once you are in the Arc Ads interface is press new project. From here, we're gonna go under talking actors. We're gonna add an actor. We're gonna create an actor. We have two options. We can either generate from prompt and reference images or we can transform a picture into a talking actor straight from video. So we'll just do the first one for an example. I'm gonna upload a reference image and I'm also going to explain this actor. All right, so for the sake of this example, I'm using an 
a screenshot from a video of someone that was rubbing their stomach, someone that was uh, probably pregnant or trying to lose weight that was rubbing their stomach. So we're gonna start there as a reference image. I'm gonna make sure this is nine by 16, not 16 by nine. Middle aged woman holding her belly. All right, we're gonna generate that. All right, nice. So I got my image just like that. That looks like a completely real person. So now, Here's where the nano banana integration comes in. So instead of just having someone talk about your product, I can actually upload an image of the actual product and have AI seamlessly place it into the actor's hand. So let's just hypothesize or just assume that this is the product that I wanna sell. So what I did here is I took a screenshot of this. I inserted it into nano banana just to get um, you know, the simple white background, just like this, downloaded it. The next thing that I wanna do is go into ArcAds and upload this image as well, just like this. So now I wanna say, make the woman hold product her right hand. Generate, come on guys, you can't tell me that that doesn't look so insanely good. We got the product literally in her hands while she's rubbing her stomach. Okay, so we'll choose one of these, we'll select our actor. Now we just want to explain what she's gonna be doing. Make the actor camera steadily. All right, we're gonna turn this into an actor. This is just gonna be two credits, turn it into actor. Next thing that we wanna do is choose the voice. Now we want this to match what the lady looks like to the closest ability. So I'll obviously select a woman. Now let's go middle age. Hey you, welcome to our camera. Okay, that sounds pretty close. I'll pick the voice and it's gonna start generating the creator with that voice that I just selected. All right, so now that we have our actor ready to go, we want her to actually speak and bring her to life. So uh, we will use the script that I have created. So I've refined down the script a little bit, just like this. I removed some wording and now I think it's pretty good. Okay, now we want to add the yeah. actor that we have created. And you have two options here. You can either do it text to speech, just like this. So simply just copying and pasting the script and having it run like that. I think you're gonna get much better results if you do it as speech to speech because it's gonna pick up on your natural highs and lows, your cadence. So if I'm like, this is the best product ever, it's gonna sound like that instead of just like steady, flat. I just recommend running it as speech to speech. So I'm gonna show you guys how I would go about recording this as speech to speech. It's pretty simple. You just press the record button, try and have your script in front of you just like this. Press start recording. And I'm gonna try and sound as much like this UGC creator as I possibly can. I wanna emphasize on you know certain wording and whatnot. If you lost weight, but you're dealing with saggy belly skin, listen up. I'm down 60 pounds, but nobody warns you about loose skin afterwards. I found this belly cream, zero burning, not greasy, and my skin texture is genuinely improving after just three days. We'll add the audio. It's transcribing the audio. All right, so now that I have my audio file in here with my natural cadence, we've added our actor. I just gotta press enter. It's gonna start creating that video. All right, so we can go ahead and watch this video. It is done rendering. It did take some time, so I just decided to skip for you guys. If you've lost or found this belly cream, zero burning skin tech, genuinely improving at days. When I pinch it, there's actually more resistance at $35. And if it goes again, literally. That was really good. The thing is, this isn't just about pacing products into the scene. Nano Banana, it understands the lighting, the angles, the hand positioning, all the details that make it look completely natural. Now, the main difference here, as you guys could see, was that when I generate that final video, she's actually holding and presenting my product while delivering the script and it makes it look really real. So I wanna show you guys another really crazy feature that they just rolled out. All right, so the next insane feature that they just rolled out is scenes. So scenes, you can literally create the scene. So let me show you guys how you go about doing it. Pretty similarly, we're gonna add our reference image. In this case, I'm gonna do a start frame. So it's gonna start at that frame. All right, so this time I chose a different first frame. I added in a middle-aged woman dispensing lotion on her hand. So I'm describing the scene right here, then rubbing the lotion on her stomach gently. And I don't want it to provide the script on the text screen. I also added the first sentence of the script, which was, if you lost weight, but you're dealing with saggy belly skin, listen up. So I wanna change this to nine by 16 and we're gonna generate this. It's gonna be one credit. And this is the end result, guys. If you lost weight, but you're dealing with Saggy belly skin, listen up. If you lost- Guys, that's crazy how good this looks. Oh my gosh. All right, so I created all of these side by side. Let me show you guys these ones as well. The consistency is perfect, not greasy at all. 
absorbs really nicely, and there's zero burning. And you can see in this one, I said the middle-aged woman rubbing non-visible lotion on her stomach gently. Not preventative. Guys, it's actually crazy how good this looks. See this one? I'm down, down 60 pounds, but nobody warns you about loose skin. Work. Here's another one. This is the ending. At $35. There we go, guys. This literally looks like I hired a real creator. I'm totally tripping out. It's as if I sent them the product. I had them film a UGC ad, but we did this in literally 20 minutes. Now, most people are still stuck using very basic AI tools or paying hundreds for real creators, but with this Nano Banana integration and VO3, you can test product presentations instantly without shipping anything to anyone. You're gonna save so much money. Now, most product UGC isn't just someone talking to the camera. You want to show the product in action, different angles, some cuts to keep people watching. So I took that AI video, I added some product shots, threw in some basic cuts and captions in CapCut, and now it looks like an authentic UGC style video that will actually convert. And what you want is to focus on making it feel dynamic, not just like one static ad of simply just that first video. Now here's something that most people don't think about is that you can create these AI ads in under 20 minutes, but if you're manually processing orders, when they start converting, you're creating a massive bottleneck for yourself. So I use AutoDS for all my stores. You guys have probably seen them in my other videos. It has become even more crucial now with AI content creation. Here's why. First, when you're creating multiple AI variations of the same product, you need your fulfillment to be just as automated. So what they do is they handle pretty much everything. It's one click to import products from AliExpress, automatic order processing, tracking updates sent directly to customers. But what I find really useful for AI testing specifically is their supplier network. Now, when you're testing multiple products quickly with AI ads, you don't wanna be spending time vetting individual suppliers, negotiating agents, it's all a waste of time. Now, they already have vetted suppliers with faster shipping times because they already have warehouses in China and the US. Now, the main thing is speed matching. Now, when you create five different AI ads in an hour and one starts converting, one ends up doing really well, they are processing those orders automatically while you can already be working on the next round of creative tests. So that's the kind of efficiency that you need when you are moving with AI speed. Now, the automation isn't just about convenience anymore. It's about matching your backend systems to your content creations. Otherwise, you're just slowing down your own success. But honestly, what's important is starting now before everyone else catches on. These AI tools are advancing so fast that what seems impossible today becomes standard tomorrow. The people who get in early and start testing this stuff now, they're gonna have a massive advantage over everyone who's still waiting for creators and paying hundreds for content. Now look, I know that when you're first putting all this together, the research, the script creation, the AI tools, the automation, it can feel pretty overwhelming. That's actually why some people reach out asking if our team can just walk through this entire system with them one-on-one. -on -one. Now, if you're serious about implementing this and you want that kind of guidance, I will leave a link below to apply. But honestly, even if you just start with one piece, maybe it's just the Facebook ad library research or you're testing one AI video, creating multiple variations with an AI actor, you're already ahead of 90% of people who are still doing things the old way. So drop a comment with what product you're planning to test with AI, what videos that you're creating. I read every single comment and I do try and help where I can. And I'm also just genuinely curious to see what you guys are working on. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next one. Peace.